Today on VIP TV, we're delighted to uh, track down Jake James, one of um, the stable's brightest prospects. He's taken about three weeks to, to, to get, in, get, get an interview with him. Um, I think he's spending too much time with Ant Crawler, his trainer. Uh, at the, that, that, that's, a, that's a bit of a Crawler trait. But thanks for joining us, Jake. And uh, I know how busy you've been with tra training, times changing and what have you. So we appreciate you giving us some time. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for your patience, mate. I'm, uh, I'm hard work, a little bit like Ant. He's taught me well. <laughs> so, um, you know, Joseph Lanty, 12th of March, uh, headlining for the first time, and your first out, first eight rounder. Is this real progress you're making? Yeah, definitely. I've, I've, I've had a couple of decent, decent fights. You know, Ben Fields and Polish kid. You know, a couple yeah, of winning records one, yeah. quite, quite early on. Um, so I've been asking Steve for for step up. So he's, he's given me one. And it's an eight rounder, so I can't complain. I've got to, uh, I've got to deliver. I'm sure I will. Yeah, I mean, um, Joseph Lancy, Have you looked at him? You know, he, I think he, you know he's got a good record for an, an African boxer who's coming over. It's also a great chance for him as well, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. He's not just coming over to roll over. I think he's won his last ten or something like that, and not not most of them out. So he's definitely um, he, he's getting on a bit, but he's experienced, and it should. It should be bring bring something that I've not seen before, and I'm I'm excited to see how I deal with it. Yeah, does it mean a lot to you to be topping the bill for the first time when you go to Bolton? Yeah, hundred percent, because it's all setting you up for the for the for the sort of when you're boxing for titles and stuff like that. It's kind of see how you deal with the pressure and what you do right and what you do wrong. And um, I remember box, when I boxed that Polish kid, I was top of the bill there, and I, and, yeah. I, and I really it, it really got me going, and I, I enjoyed the occasion, and I obviously ended up. With a kind of career best performance, so I'm hoping for another one this time out. Yeah, I mean, that was, that, that, that was a six rounder as well, top of it, but yeah. it'd be a bigger crowd here, won't it? That was a that was really a dinner show where a lot of them were non boxing yeah, yeah. fans, weren't they? It's people yeah. at the Hill on Hotel for a, for a night out as much as anything. Yeah, it's a bit, so a bit different this time. The, the tickets have been crazy, and honestly, my, my, my lot are a mad bunch you'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll see on the night. <laughs> But it's it's great with it. I've, I've done so many tickets. It, it's really it takes me back how much support that I've got, and um, they all try and outdo each other with the chanting and the shouting. Do you know what I mean? It'll be it'll be a good one. Looking forward to it. I saw your fans in Sheffield last year. Yeah, the nuts out there. <laughs> yeah. the crazy. Yeah, the the noise, the out, but fair play to it. In the middle of summer, middle of a pandemic, <laughs> and. You virtually sold that whole all them ringside tables, didn't you? So, oh yeah, there's not not much social distancing going on now. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what brings about this this support? Are you a popular family, well known family, or what? No, what, what where does it come so, from? Right? It's quite got quite a small family. I don't know. We just the area I'm from, Balesworth. They, they all kind of stick together, and I've got. Um, got a good group of friends and they, they bring their friends and it just it just grows and I've got real loyal support that come like you see when we boxed in Sheffield it's in the middle of a pandemic loads of people are out of work and the tickets it was quite pricey do you it know was, what I mean yeah. like 100, 150 quid a ticket and sold loads everyone come out and really really sort of put an effort in to get over to Sheffield so they're really loyal loyal good supporters and they just want me to see me do well and they also love uh, they also love a good night out as well, which helps, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, keeping the fouls worth link, it's quite interesting. We've had Crawler, and he's another boxer for it, down the road in Moston, but the same sort yeah. of area, isn't he? Yeah, a little bit, little bit posh around there. I think the, I think the dogs walk in pairs in Moston. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but yeah, right, right. Right. sorry. So yeah, we're both, both he's just two, two minutes away up the road, and everyone kind of sticks together around there. It's um. Yeah, it's good. Get good support. Yeah, and uh, is it was this your fifth or sixth fight with Ant? I think the, the Polish kid might have been the first fight, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think it's the fifth one with him now. Yeah. I mean, how's it gone with him? How has it developed the relationship? Yeah, it's um, it's it's brought me on as a fighter leaps and bounds, and I'm yet to I yet to show it in the ring because it's difficult against the. See, like the last fella I boxed, he was um, he, he, he was at eleven two, which is well above my weight anyway. And he come in like 11 10 and he was like ripped up for it. Do you know what I mean? There's not really too much you can do with him apart from sort of just hit a move. And, and now down at my weight, I'm open to really show what I've been working on in the gym because I've, I've come on leaps and bounds and I'm really open to sort of showcase it. 
You know, how's your in injuries been? I had a serious hand injury and about 18 months out, and then you had you had two fights last year. How is everything yeah. now? You, you know, you would you pass an MOT now? <laughs> I'd pass an MOT. I'm a bit like Petr Cech. I keep I, I kept getting <laughs> injuries. It was pretty injury prone, but um the hand injury, and then I had to, and then um, I was boxing in December and caught COVID fight week, and I was just <laughs> devastated because I'd sold loads of tickets and and everyone was just buzzing for it, you know, on the Jolly Boys and right before Christmas, and it, it was literally like four days before, and I was devastated. But um, yeah, I've not had any injuries, touch wood, um, so far in camp, and I'm hoping to, uh, to to keep it that way. Yeah. You know, because, you know, you, you're going up to eight rounds. It's a great chance this year to get some momentum and maybe by the end of the yeah. year end up on a sky bill or something and then kick on it onto titles. You know, it's important yeah. that is with you this year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely. And I believe um, the Sugar Ray Leonard um, saying inactivity is the biggest yeah. uh, thing in boxing. It's, it's, you need to be active. You, you can't be having that ring rush. You need to keep the momentum going. And even in terms of just actually selling tickets and stuff like that, you, you, you need to keep busy. You can't be stagnating because, you know, people just go missing. You need to keep the ball rolling in every sense. And and that's what I'm looking to do. I, I'm happy to be the away fighter. I'm happy to be, I've got to sell enough tickets to be the own fighter, sell enough tickets to get on Sky Sports and whatnot. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm open to anything really, but I just want to be active and and keep uh, keep stepping up. When you and Anthony have a chat about your career and where it's going this year, you know, in an ideal world, where would you like it to go over the next, you know, what we've got, nine and a half, ten and a half months of the year left? Yeah, um, I don't see why why I can't pick up some sort of title, whether it be at least a central area or possibly the English title or something like that. Um, be ten and a half after this fight, and it's a good step up, you know, he's a well-ranked opponent, so it should, if if I beat him well, it should shoot me up the rankings. And, and yeah, what we're picking up some sort of title. I'm 26 now, soon to be 27. So I need to be kind of knocking on the door for some titles now. I'm coming into the sort of physical prime and and yeah, if it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen now. It probably never will. So I'd rather uh, I'd rather give it a go. And um, before we let you go, I'm going to ask you this one: Calm Brook this Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, they're two <laughs> water weights. Who's going to win that? You might be earning their sort of money one day. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That, you know, I changed my opinion about five times. I oh, genuinely oh, yeah. don't know. Um, I changed my opinion after watching uh, the gloves are off. I think Khan's. I think Khan's in his head a little bit. But um, I've always thought Brook. I've always thought Brook would just be able to time and he'd be a little bit too strong for him. So I'm going to stick with my guns. I'm going to go with Brook. Um, what do you think? I've got. You know what? I've got no conviction at all. I'm just thinking Same. that. Even though we were talking on the podcast last night and John Evans said, even if when Khan slows, he'll still be quick, he's saying. But yeah. you know what we do see with around me at this stage of his career particularly, he's been around a long time, his feet slow as well. And when his yeah. feet slow, he'll be in range. And, what, and I know a couple of lads who have sparred with Brook and they were sort of suggesting that maybe he's not what he was, but he's, he's fucking hitting hard still. So yeah, yeah. He's... I, I, I've got no conviction, but I'll go Brook in seven or eight. But if, I, if, if, if that comes off, it certainly won't be, ah, oh, I told you so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel, I, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling like the same, but I wouldn't be surprised if Khan was just to be a bit too quick and sharp for him. Just just him. It's, just, it's just him that has got the most left, really, isn't it? Yeah, great fight. A bit too late, but yeah. I can't wait for it. Everyone else still watch it. They're not daft, are they? Well, I'll tell you what, Jake, thanks for giving us some time to, tonight and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get, get you on again um, after your fight a, a, against Joseph Lancy on 12th of March at Bolton Arena. Uh, get your yeah. tickets from, from Jake through social media. Uh, don't go anywhere else. Just go to Jake and he'll sort <laughs> you out, I'm sure. It's not one, Steve. Thank you for your time and your patience, mate. And all can be hard Thank you very much. Cheers, thanks. mate. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.